Hi guys and welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a get ready with me vlog. So this is the before. Right now I've got no makeup on. I really need to wash my hair. I pretty much was sick yesterday so if this was smell vision I would have like those wafty stink lines coming off me right now because I stink right now. So I'm going to go and have a shower. I'm going to wash the hair because it's like stuck to my head I don't even have a fringe right now and then I'll go through how I get ready for a day a regular day in the gym I, I'm not sure whether that is kind of anti-feminist or not that I feel the need to wear makeup as a mask or something but I just feel it gives me confidence out of the shower I'm still wet and feeling a lot less stinky and clean so I'm just going to take you through some of the products I use on my hair I am a basic bitch and I use the mega shampoo from Aussie and three minute miracle moisture deep treatment conditioner for my hair I wash my hair twice a week so that's every three to four days in between washes I use Batiste dry shampoo it just takes the excess oils out of my hair leaves it smelling and feeling fresh in between washes before i blow dry i use cowboy magic this is a horse hair conditioner and it detangles and just gives a bit of extra shine to your hair so i just put like a pea size amount into the ends of my hair i avoid the roots to avoid getting them greasy and this just keeps my hair looking extra shiny you can probably pick this up on amazon or in some random chemists my daily cleanser is the micellar cleansing water from Garnier I just get a huge big bottle from the chemist across the counter nothing expensive and I use this day and night to cleanse with the little makeup pads in the shower I use this daily microfoliant from Dermalogica and um, it's just kind of like a dry talc and you foam it up with some water and then use it on your face daily this can be used twice daily it's very unharsh and doesn't take away the protective barrier on your skin twice a week i use this skin buff from el elmi elmi it's a scrub so we only use it twice a week because it will kind of damage your skin if you use it too frequently but it will get rid of that excess debris from your skin and helps with the treatment of the old blackheads. Once a week I will do a face mask so I alternate between the caviar mask from Zero Skin. This is like a black charcoal mask that you put on and then peel off and it will literally peel off all the blackheads. It's quite satisfying motion. Then every second week I will use this papaya enzyme peel from Elmley. It's quite harsh so you do not want to use it in conjunction with this I made this mistake before where I used this followed by this and then my face felt like it was on fire. After I cleanse I like to tone with this apricot toner from Elmley. Is it Elmley's? Elmley's? I don't know how to pronounce it. This is quite gentle. I find a lot of toners can be quite drying but this one just spritz it on after the shower and then just leave it set before you put on any moisturizer or makeup for my body because I like to keep my body nice and moisturized I just use this simple Palmer's coconut oil formula coconut body lotion and it just smells really good and it doesn't have any extra additives or smells in there that can play havoc with sensitive skin like mine so I just use this and it smells great Toner has sank in. I have done my body moisturizer. I have got underwear on, so I'm not naked anymore. I'm gonna do full face and it's a daytime look. It's not a very heavy makeup. I always do my face before my hair, so I just have my hair pinned back. It's still wet. I have just put the Cowboy Magic in the ends and brushed it through. First things first, what moisturizer do I use? I use this Kiehl's moisturizer. I find it good for my aging skin. It's a super multi-corrective cream. Now, it doesn't leave a kind of a moisturizer residue on your skin so when I put it on leave it for a couple of minutes it just sinks in and just leaves a nice base to my face and I have quite sensitive older skin so I find this really suits me I don't use a lot I just dab it on and don't forget the neck as with all moisturizers you should put them on in an upward and outward movement apparently helps with wrinkles every little bit helps doesn't it once the moisturizer has sank in as you can see I have quite freckly uneven skin tone and probably the remnants of a spot so we will be getting 
rid of that. My primer is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I have before gotten the one with SPF in it and I was actually allergic because I'm quite sensitive in my skin. So I just tend for the photo finish, the basic one. This is the only primer I've ever used and it's the best that I've ever used. So maybe I'm a little biased since I haven't used anything else, but this is what I use. I just layer it on and it definitely gives a good base before you start your foundation and makeup. As I don't allow the sun on my face, it is a lot paler than my body. So I like to use this Dew of Hoola from Benefit as a kind of a tanning base to cover up the paleness. I just dot it round. I use a foundation brush. This is just a number seven foundation brush from Boots. And just in circular motion, just blend it in. You are gonna be layering up with foundation. So it doesn't have to be too perfect. It just gives you that sun-kissed glow underneath your makeup. Again, this is a more natural daytime look that we're going for, so there won't be any crazy heavy makeup. You need to blend it around that upper lip to make sure that you don't get a moustache. As you can see, I have false eyelashes on and I have tattooed eyebrows, so I don't really have to do much with them when it comes to makeup. Next layer is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I really like this. I also have the L'Oreal Infallible uh, 24 Matte, but I'm preferring this one. This is in golden sand, so it's a little bit darker. Um, I don't tend to go for the paler ones. I like to give my skin a little bit more colour. So again, I just dab this on, blend using the foundation brush to start. So this is what the base is looking like. I'm done with the foundation brush now. As I've said in previous videos, I like to keep all my brushes nice and clean. So I'm going to simply use a makeup removal wipe and we just clean that off. It just gets the excess off the brush, keeps it clean for the next application. And this will be dry by the time I use it again tomorrow. Tip of the day. Next step, I like to do a little bit of contouring. I don't have any fancy contouring kits. So I simply use this bronzing powder from MAC. This is in a matte bronze bronzing powder. And I'm using this brush. So it's kind of a middle sized soft brush. And I simply just go like that. And I'm going down the line, doing duck face. And it just gives me a bit of a shape to my face. And then I also just do around the jawline and up onto my chin to give it some extra color. Then we're gonna use a flat head makeup brush. So it's quite a bigger brush. And then I just blend this in. At this point, you will still be looking slightly stripy. And now I'm going to use, now this is a much heavier makeup. So it is the Pro Longwear Nourishing Foundation from MAC. I have it in color NC20. It's slightly lighter than the, the Infallible Total Cover, as you can see. So I'm kind of using it as a contour aid. I'll be using it under the eye, along the cheekbones, along the bridge of my nose, and just under my chin here. And nothing fancy, I just dab it on using my finger. And round the nose, I kind of get redness around my nose. I think it is scarring from previous blemishes that are slightly red. So I just usually use a little bit of extra foundation round there. Now gets to one of the tips of the day from me. So I use this Urban Decay all nighter and this is a setting spray. I'm going to simply use this setting spray on my blending sponge. So you're going to dampen your blending sponge and then simply blend the foundation in and this actually sets the foundation as it blends and it just gives you that really nice dewy look. I've only been doing it recently and since I've started doing this that's when the comments started on my videos and on my Instagrams saying that my skin looked really good. And that is the only thing I can think of that has changed with my makeup routine. So at this point, I also blend the bronzer a little bit more into my skin. And it just gives this 
dewy look and fixes the makeup in place because as I said I'm going to be going to the gym after this and I'm going to sweat and my makeup just doesn't go anywhere and I don't feel like it's very heavy either because I haven't used a lot of makeup. If I was going for a more dramatic look I probably would use more contouring around my nose along the bridge here and here and I'd use just a smaller brush and again I just use the bronzing powder from MAC. I always use a blush. I like the pink blushes. I think they give me a nice rosy glow. I know everyone's different. Some people use more of a peachy colour but I like the kind of bright pink blushers. So I'm using this one from MAC and it, it is in Frankly Scarlet. It's quite a pinky colour. And I just dust it onto the apples of my cheeks like this. And then I leave it and I'm just ready. No. I'm going to use the brush I used earlier for the bronzer and I'm just going to blend it in. And there will be further blending as I put on my setting powder that will just put this in place and kind of take the pinkness down a little. As you can see it gives a nice healthy pink glow to my cheeks. Next I will do my eye makeup and then at the very end I like to just put on the concealer. So I like to do my eye makeup before I do my concealer because it kind of just cleans up any mess caused by the eyeshadow. I'm quite basic when it comes to my eyeshadow. I don't like to go too crazy because I'm not a trained makeup artist. So I have this creamy coloured, it's called Blank Type Matte Eyeshadow from MAC and this is going to be my base. Then I like to use the Naked Basics panel from Urban Decay and it has just a really nice basic dark brown black brown kind of a taupey color and then some of the more neutral shades. Starting off with where base I use kind of a thicker brush and I just lightly go over the entire eyelid. And this just gives me a nice base to begin with. Then using a kind of a small head eyeliner brush. It's not the tiny one, it's kind of an in-between size one. So not quite tiny. And we're going to use this with the dark brown from The Naked. It's called Crave. Now I like to get the excess off. I use a tissue just to blot off the excess because I don't like to have too much on it because it just goes everywhere. So what I'm going to do is line from the middle of the eyelashes out. So we're not going all the way in because we're going for a much less defined look. We're just going to highlight the edge of the eye. So as you can see, I started from the middle and went out and up and then out and up just beyond the edge of the eye. The exact same I'm going to go from the out tracing it in to halfway in the eye. Right now it looks quite harsh and severe so I'm going to use this eyeshadow blender and I'm just going to blend this into place so it looks a little bit less severe and less dramatic and it will just give a nice shape to your eyes without looking too overwhelming. If you don't have one of these, you could probably just use a cotton bud and then you can just use your beauty blender just to get rid of any excess from under the eye. And as you can see, it just gives a nice kind of def definition around the edge of the eye and kind of opens them up slightly. Then we're gonna move on and use some on the eyelid. I'm gonna be using the faint color. So it's this brownie color from the Naked Palette. And again, I usually dab off the excess onto a piece of tissue paper and then we go right in to the pocket of the eye in here, into the crease. And we're just gonna do a half a line halfway in just to define the eyes again. So as you can see, we now have kind of a semi-shaped the eyes when you look back like this. It just opens up your eyes and makes them look way bigger and that's what you want, you want big eyes. So I've been using this tissue paper just to blot it all off as we go. Then moving on, we want to blend that because right now it's still looking quite severe. If I was going on a night out, I'd probably add in some black eyeliner. 
I'd probably use black eyeliner and I'd have the eyeshadow going in further in the eye to make them look darker and deeper and I probably wouldn't blend this off as much as I'm going to. Now to blend I'm going to use the Naked 2 colour and I'm going to use this brush so it's kind of an almond shaped eyeshadow brush and I really like it because it gets right into the pocket of the eye so I'm just going to use this and then we're going to go right in to the pocket of the eye this time we're going to bring it right into the corner to corner and it just blends it in nicely as you can see now it's a little bit more subtle and blended nicer and next step and our final step for blending the eyeshadow i'm using a bigger version of the almond shaped brush if you know the name of the brush let me know i am not a professional but this is just an eyeshadow brush i picked up this set i think on amazon and i just like the feeling of these bristles they're quite soft so i'm going to use w.o.s color on the palette and we're just going to go and gently sweep over as you can see it just brightens it up that little bit the after and the before and so we don't look lopsided we'll do the other side too final step i like to just define my eyelids a little bit more so i'm going to use the entire palette today and I use the Foxy, which is kind of a creamy colour, along the lid, like so. And it just defines the lid and makes your eyes look bigger, because that is the aim of the game. And then I'm just going to use this Venus colour, which is kind of like a highlighter. It's quite glittery, and I just like to put that underneath my brows, just to make them raise up a little bit. And then when we're done, I just like to blend it all with a clean brush just to get rid of any excess shadow. So there will be all eyeshadow under your eyes and that is when you use the concealer. So the concealer I am using is the MAC Longwear Concealer. It is in color NC20. So this is a good color tone for my Irish freckly skin. What I tend to do is just put a tiny wee amount onto my fingertip. And then I use a small concealer brush and I just gently dab it underneath and we bring it down onto the top of the cheekbones. And again, this is like 101 of contouring. And it will, I bring it right into the corner of my eyes and sometimes even up into the eyebrow. And then if you've got any blemishes that are coming through the foundation, this is a good point to cover them also. The key to under eye concealer is to bring it down into a V shape because you don't want those little white circles as the flashes of bulbs etc. Again I like to clean off the concealer brush. Now I've got a smaller squidgy little blending and again I'm just going to spritz it with the Urban Decay All Nighter and this again sets it as you blend. Then to finish off I use the Natural Finish Loose Powder Translucency 2 from Chanel. I just think this is a really nice colour to go on any skin tone. Translucency 2 is quite a nice colour and I use a big brush and then just gently go over my entire face. I feel this helps to set the makeup in place. As you can see, I have a, quite a nice finish. I usually use this makeup remover to get it off my lips and my eyebrows because I tend to get a lot of makeup in my eyebrows and I just gently go across the eyebrows to remove any excess. Then for my eyebrows, I use a little eyelash brush and then onto my false eyelashes. If you don't have false eyelashes, don't worry. This is what I use on my bottom lashes and when I don't have false lashes in, it's the Their Real Benefit Mascara. It is by far, and I've tried a lot of different mascaras, I'm quite fussy when it comes to my mascara because I like them to be nice and open and separated like my false eyelashes are right now. The key to mascara and not getting it everywhere is a tissue. So what I do is I put the tissue 
underneath the lashes like so and then you just brush on the mascara and then you get the mascara on the lashes and not all over your face then for the lips i usually just use a lip gloss and i really like this sexy mother pucker from soap and glory and this one is in color donut so it's kind of a neutral color they have kind of more pinks and peaches available too so this is my makeup for today and now onto the hair. Hair is pretty simple, I just blow dry it. I've got a GHT hair dryer, and I like to use one of these brushes and one of these brushes. So this has like the boar bristles, and this is just the curved round brush just to get the volume into my fringe and into the top of my hair. I'm not gonna bore you with the hair drying because hair drying is hair drying, isn't it? So here we have the finished look. I've got my hair all nicely blow dried. I haven't put any hair straighteners or hair curlers over it. So this is just how it looks when I blow dry it. As you can see, there's a nice shine off the ends. That is from the Cowboy Magic. My fringe needs a little bit of a trim, but mm, can't be perfect. And this is the finished face. So as you can see, you can still see my freckles through the makeup. It's not that heavy. It is more of a daytime look. If I was to go a bit more dramatic, I'd probably go for a brighter lip, probably more dramatic eyes. Feeling a lot better, a lot more motivated to go out to the gym now. After spending a day yesterday in bed feeling crappy, it's good to feel refreshed. Fresh makeup on, clean hair, less stinky, no stink lines perforating from me. Now I'm off to the gym to get a workout in. Hope you enjoyed it guys. If you liked the video and you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the technique, products I have used, anything else or anything you'd like to see in the future from me, just comment below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Love you guys, love your support.